Hello everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy X walkthrough. Uh, we've got quite a bit of, of dialogue in this one, so I won't be doing a whole lot of commentary for this particular uh, video, but I started off here with, uh, with just some Blitzball prizes that I had won during um, my, I guess, stay in Guado Salam. I actually stayed here for quite some time. I, uh, I did a lot of fighting just outside on the south, uh, I think it's the south side technically of Guado Salam. Um, and just got, got a bunch of money and, uh, and played a ton of Blitzball games. You can see my levels here are pretty crazy. Uh, Titus is at 72, Rob's at 88. Uh, so again, I mean, I, I played something like 160 some games or like that, maybe even more. Uh, so, you know, that, I guess that kind of shows how much time I spent here. I did get all of, there's Waka's last um, Overdrive uh, Orox reels, <clears throat> as well as, uh, so what's that? Okay, so that must be, that must be what triggers the, the Blitzball Master Trophy. Um, but anyways, I got, you know, I got all of his, uh, overdrives as well as, uh, the, the thing that you have to know, though, for those is that, or, for Orox Reels, uh, it's, it's something like 450 battles, so you, you know, you can't just play Blitzball to, to get it. Um, you have to get a certain amount of, of, um, of battles, and I believe, like I said, I believe it's 450. Maybe I'm confusing that with, no, no, I'm pretty sure it's. Jupiter Sigil is after uh, after you've obtained uh, Orox Reels. That should be the next league prize that pops up. Um, so Attack Reels is a tournament prize, and then is it? I think it's Status Reels is um, tournament or uh, yeah, sorry, league prize, and then it goes back to tournament again, I believe, for uh, Orox Reels, and then uh, Jupiter Sigil is a uh, uh, league. Prize again, so it switches back and forth between uh, tournament and league. Uh, but just know that there's there's two of them that require uh, a certain amount of battles. So if it's not showing up, you know, um, I don't like the I smell guess of this one because eh? you you know you haven't triggered enough battles yet. But the final one is like I said, Orox reels, and that's 450 battles. Uh, so oh, that works well so with nice. uh, the way I was going about this. Obviously, I needed money to support. Stay close uh, to Yuna my team essentially uh, you know to keep uh, to keep players on my team these are the past leaders of the guado they all look the same mr seymour doesn't look like them no don't you know the last leader maester jiskel wed a human woman she was seymour's mother hmm. All right, so here you see Seymour's lineage. Obviously, his his father and his forefathers were all Guado. His mother was a was a human. Um, but anyways, I am actually pretty much gonna cut the commentary here. I may do a little bit more at the towards the very very end. Actually, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do some more at the very end of this video. But uh, there's just so much dialogue in this uh, video that it doesn't pay uh, to to keep up way, uh, the commentary because I'm just gonna be speaking over. Over the NPCs, so like I said, I will. I'm gonna cut it here, and then I'll uh, redo some more of the commentary towards the end. This way, please. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know.
Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Speak no more. What could it be? Oh, <laughs> truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader. Lord Seymour has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkin? Correct. Xanarkin. As it looked 1,000 years ago. Great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
Wow, your face is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna... No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way! We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <sighs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <sighs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him?
Question. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. You're still here? See you later. What the? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on a far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about? I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. He is dead. And I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. 
don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but don't be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me with Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough, not even close. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Just a sec more. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's Sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. But, wait, no one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there, uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm, it's okay. Uh, I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so, so I, I told, told him what I thought of him right, right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a, sec, a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll, You'll cry, cry if you don't. don't. Oh, man. 
Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. <gasps> Lord Jiskel! Oh, Lord Jiskel! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> Talk later. We leave now. What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? I don't understand. Ah, uh, so right there, I think I messed up. I wish I would have just not pressed the the dialogue button there because I think. Yuna was asking a question. I think it's, how does a man like Lord Jiskel die and not be sent? I assume that's what she was about to say, but I, I'm not sure. And uh, I again, I think I accidentally hit that hit that dialogue button, and I maybe should have just left that Yuna. dialogue box up. Jiskel is the Guado's so, my problem, bad. not yours. Um, what? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But... If Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. I see. But you must keep your feelings inside until the pilgrimage is over. 
One of these days I should really try to try the try out those other options. I think I always pick the same thing for whatever reason. When we leave here, we have to go through the uh, thunder but I, planes. I think next, you can you know? <laughs> obviously it's not, it seemed like anyway like you could flirt with Lulu there. Thunder. Uh but again, I you know, I just for whatever reason I always pick the pick whatever the top option was. Um so, uh, you know, now that we're here in Guadalajara, I do want to speak about it. So, uh, I, and I don't remember if I mentioned this in any of the other videos, I'm but I actually do recruit quite a few of the Guado here. I wonder if Maester uh, Seymour and I, has I, heard. Just because I like their stats for Blitzball, typically the way I set up for my parties. I was a little worried know, about or, what was uh, going to happen, my team yeah? is that uh, I, I pretty much just uh, get characters that are going to be able to get the ball from the enemy as well as get the ball to Titus. So I typically go with really high attack and block stats on uh, on the other characters, and then obviously I play always with Titus because he's just, in my opinion, the best uh, forward in the game. I think uh, Waka will come close a little bit later, but uh, as of right now, Titus is your best, uh, I guess, character that's going to, I suppose it's easiest to score goals with him is what I should say. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of what I end up doing, and I think I recruit Auda. I think that's how you say her name, Auda, and Navguado here. I did recruit Pa as well, but uh, I with I, I I guess I expect I will be replacing her uh, later as well. But I always put Nav and uh, Auda in the in the back as defense. My, was the lady uh, summoner not with you? No, she's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa, I gotta tell the others. Jisco, please tell me, what can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. All right, so uh, before I cut the video here, I did want to mention that uh, on the far plane there with the the scene between Titus and, uh, you know, when he's he's remembering his parents, I do I do like that scene because you first kind of get a glimpse uh, for the fact that um, Jekt does indeed care about Titus when, uh, you know, he Titus is trying to get his mother's attention and and she's, you know, paying oh, no. more attention to Jack, and then he says, well, go, go to him, otherwise he's going to start crying. You know, so you, he's no, a little gruff about that. it, but, um, you know, it, it does show that he towers? actually does indeed care about Titus. The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. All right, finally we are going to continue on here under the Thunder Plains. I will speak a bit about Thunder Plains in the fall in the in the next video, just because we're getting really close to the end of this one. So 
I'm probably just gonna cut the commentary here. So like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to do. Hope you guys are helpful though. Hope you're enjoying them. And uh, as always, I hope you join me for more. All right, thanks for watching. Let's go. 